alligators, what's up? It's Sally Hard to See, and today's video is going to be a Q&A. I don't do these as often as I probably should, and I want to start doing them every month if I can. I always say that, and then I always end up doing them like every three months or whatever, but either way, this, if you are new to my channel, is going to help you learn a lot more about me as a person, as well as give you guys some basic life updates and talk about some other cool stuff going on. Currently, I'm in Ohio. I just got my hair dyed, so that's why it looks a lot darker, and that's why I have this background that I used to use last summer when I was visiting my parents, so I'm out here right now for another couple of weeks. I'm going to visit Anna and Natalia on Thursday, so I'll probably post this while I'm with them, and I'm sure you guys will see some videos from all of us together as well, but before jumping into this Q&A, I just want to let you guys know that I do have a Patreon. I've honestly barely talked about it on my channel. I'm not sure why, but just so you guys know, that's a place where I post videos early as well as personal life updates, exclusive photos, and you can gain access to my private Snapchat. I'm going to start doing Patreon only live streams and giveaways real soon. So you don't want to miss out. If you want to check my Patreon out, it'll be at the top of the description box below. And let's get into these questions. Craziest thing you've ever done at a rave. I really have to think about that one. Oh, I made out with some random gay guy once. He was gay and he told me he had never kissed a girl and so I was his first kiss. That was a long time ago, but I just remembered that. Wow. How close are you with your subscribers? I'd like to say that we're pretty close, especially if you have me on my other social media, shameless self promo, because I try to be as active as I possibly can with DMs, with tweets, etc. You guys are my best friends and I would literally have nothing that I have right now if it wasn't for all of you. Who was the first YouTuber you ever watched? Probably Smosh. Super Mac 18, who was like my boyfriend in elementary school. I was obsessed with him. Gen X Pen, all the OGs. How do you know all the words to that rice gum rap you kept singing at lunch at VidCon? Okay, so when Olivia and I were meeting with subscribers, we kept singing It's Every Night Sis by Rice Gum and Alyssa Violet. Ain't nobody ever heard about your Disney show. Tell me why they know all the words to a rice gum rap. It's the catchiest song in the world and I play it pretty much every single day. This question's really good. Do you view YouTube as a career or as a tool to help launch a career? Explain your thoughts. I personally do see YouTube as a real career, but I also think it's important to branch out. As you notice, once YouTubers get a lot bigger, they put out merch, they publish a book, they go on tour. So I definitely feel like YouTube is a stepping stone in the process, but it's also a real career on the way. How are you? Like really, I feel like you've been getting a lot of hate lately. Thank you, you're so sweet. I've definitely been getting a lot of hate from the Dirty Dawn video. The last video I made, I've been getting significantly a lot less hate on. I think it's because the supporters haven't really seen it as much or random trolls haven't come across it because the other one went kind of viral. I don't get hate a lot on YouTube, so that was definitely the first time I've really experienced that, but I'm a strong person. I have pretty thick skin and it doesn't bother me when it's like over the internet, as cliche as that sounds. Like truthfully, I'm not gonna let it get to me, so I'm okay. And thank you so much for asking. Who's your best YouTube friend? I'm honestly super close with everyone you guys have seen me collab with. With, talk to on Twitter or post with on Instagram, etc. Those are all like my really close YouTube friends, but I definitely have to say Olivia Cara just because I literally spent the past two weeks with her earlier this summer, like nonstop, and we talk every single day. Like we're basically the same person. Do you still talk to any of your exes? Are you friends with any of them? Actually, yeah, I'm pretty much friends with all of them except for one who was like kind of the most well, actually, whoa. Fun fact, I just dated a guy for like 24 hours. It was official for like 24 hours and then I broke up with him and that went down the drain really, really fast. We're not necessarily all that cool. Hopefully that changes and we can still be like homies and whatnot. But yeah, so I would say actually I'm friends with pretty much all of them except for that guy and then the guy before that. How do you feel about memes? This could end me standing you. I love memes. What kind of question is that? Can you do a 30 second freestyle rap about potatoes on the spot? This is going to be so embarrassing. Your mom's cooking dinner and it's time to go back home. Yeah, your mom calls and you pick up the phone. She's like, hey, we're gonna make potatoes tonight. You're like, hey, mom, you're doing it right. I love potatoes. I love them a lot more than tomatoes. She was like, yeah, I know that's your favorite food. You're like, hey, mom, let's get it. Ooh. You pick up the phone. Your mom's calling you to come home. You're like, what's up? Why do I need to go back there? She's like, hey, take a seat in this chair because you're about to eat dinner with us. You're like, okay, but mom, what is it for dinner today? She's like, we're gonna have some potatoes, not tomatoes. No, we're gonna eat these potatoes because I know that's your favorite food. Yeah, we in the potato eating kind of mood. You're like, okay, mom, what do I even say? You like potatoes way too much. You eat them all the time. A, that's why I had to make the sick rhyme about potatoes, not tomatoes. We eating a potato, yeah. We eating a potato, this ain't veggie tails, no. We ain't eating those tomatoes. 
No, potatoes. We can eat them all the time. Yeah, we can eat them with our freaking French fries from McDonald's, but that gave me food poisoning. A. Okay, I'm done. I'm, I'm just done. That was really freaking bad. Sorry. What's your favorite part and least favorite part about being a social media influencer? P.S. I love you. I love you too, Riley. My favorite part is definitely the fact that I get to reach such a large number of people in an audience and spread messages out there to the public, you know, because I want to make an influence on people and help others. But my least favorite part is definitely how many people will try to use you and take advantage of you and be your friend just because you have followers, etc. Because that happens a lot more than you would think and it really sucks. Do you miss me? Of course I do. This is from Michaela. She was at my first ever meetup in Cincinnati with Natalia last summer and I literally love her. She's getting married. Shout out to Michaela. Love you so much. Workout routine. I usually run on the treadmill for like a couple miles and then I do the little booty machines where you do the squats and then you do the inner thighs and then I hold like a three to four minute plank. Just depends how that I'm feeling that day and then I'll stretch a whole bunch. I don't really work out my arms So what's the worst excuse you've given your parents so you could sneak out and see a boy fun fact Basically for like a whole entire summer My mom thinks I was like best friends with this girl who I barely even knew and that I would sleep over at her house all the time But I was really spending the night at my now ex-boyfriend's best friend's house just so I could spend time with him But in my defense, I was moving away to Ohio and I wanted to spend as much time with him as I possibly could And my parents were really strict. Oh and to make matters worse my mom would talk on the phone with my other friend's grandma, who I've never even met, who lives in SoCal, and she would pretend to be that other friend's mom who I was spending the night's house at and tell my mom that she was gonna be there and supervising and everything, but really I was just at my boyfriend's best friend's house the whole time. What is your major in college? It's communications. And do you see yourself doing YouTube full time as a job instead of what you graduate from college for? Honestly, yeah. I do plan on, like I said earlier, branching out or like, you know, I said a lot of YouTubers do and doing other things. I plan on owning my own business. I never really intend on working for somebody. It could happen, but with communications, it's not like I have a specific degree, like registered nurse, and that's what I'm gonna do. So there's a lot I could do with that, and there's a lot of different directions I feel like I could take that in. How tall are you? By the way, I love you. Gator fan for life. I love you too. Gator fan for life, yo. And I'm probably like, I'm probably like five seven. What is the most awkward thing that has ever happened to you on a date? <sighs> this is going to be a story time one day, but I may or may not have thrown up all over myself. I don't want to talk about this actually. That will be for another time. It wasn't technically a date. It was technically after a date, but still the guy was there and it was really bad. I'm sure there's a lot of other awkward things that have happened, but that's the first one that comes to mind because it was so embarrassing. What's your advice on fake friends? They're not your friends. Literally cut them out. I'd rather be alone than with bad company. And if I can't trust the people I'm surrounding myself with to go behind my back or share my secrets or just be shady and just not genuine people who would do the same for me as I would do for them, Cut them out of your life. That's supposed to be like a scissor right there. Cut them out. Just get rid of them. They're not worth your time. When will you be moving next to me? This is from Olivia and I'm literally going to move there the second I graduate college. Like, heads up guys, I'm moving to Orange County. I'm gonna move into her apartment complex because I'm actually in love. So two more years, maybe two and a half. We'll see how things go, but it's happening. How has YouTube changed your life in every single way freaking possible? I actually just got my 100K plaque. I'm gonna insert it on the screen. I wish I had it with me right now, but it's at home and writing because like I said, I'm visiting family. I have so many friends all across the world now and the people I've been able to meet through YouTube, like other YouTubers and making those kind of connections. How do you get yourself into so many crazy situations? I honestly think it's because one, I'm super trusting of people. I tend to paint the red flags green and also because I'm out doing a lot of stuff. So therefore a lot more things happened to me. If you could know when you were going to die, would you want to know? No. <laughs> I think it would screw with me so bad and then I would be paranoid my whole life and trying to like do things differently to avoid it and it would probably happen because of that, just like on That's So Raven. Is it hard to be a YouTuber? You have to be cut out for it for sure. Not saying like you have to be like, you know, a certain type of person for it, but you have to have thick skin. You have to be really committed. You have to be dedicated to what you do and know that it doesn't happen overnight for you to grow a channel and it has to be something you're passionate about whether you have two subscribers or two million. How did you decide storytelling is your YouTube style. I really didn't. I just started putting out story times and people really liked them and then I realized that I liked it. It wasn't like I really made that decision and I still like to do other kinds of videos too. I don't consider myself to be just a story time YouTuber anymore but of course I will always be my niche. Were you serious about being pescatarian after your bad fast food experience? Absolutely. I've definitely had meat since then but I can only have it in very small increments and then I get really full. If you didn't know at EDC we ate really old McDonald's and Chick-fil-A and it was just a terrible experience. I definitely can't eat meat like that anymore like sandwich wise. The most I'll have is maybe some chicken on a salad but even that I'm kind of coming to the conclusion that I just want to eat fish. Would you ever own an alligator? No, honestly, the only reason low key that I call you guys my alligators and all that stuff is because it fits with my name, like 
alligator, you know, if you didn't catch on by now. It's not because I have an alligator fetish or it's my favorite animal or anything. Like, they're cool, but other than that, like, that's literally why I have that for all my social medias and stuff. Would you ever get tattoos? If so, how many or what parts of your body would you get tattooed? Honestly, no, because one, I'm terrified of needles, and two, my interests change a lot. Not like I stop liking things that I used to like a lot, but I get really passionate about something and I'll kind of like, you know, just move on to something else and get really into that thing. For example, I used to be really into water polo. I no longer play, but I still love water polo. I used to be really into astrology. I'm still super into astrology, but I don't study it every single day like I used to. I just couldn't be permanent about something on my body for sure, especially going through the pain and it just, no. Also, would you get any piercings? I had my belly button pierced and it came out and I was so mad. It was after a year and it closed up overnight. Should have done that. I never even got to change it. I really want to get it re-pierced, but I'm scared because I could barely do it the first time. I literally had a panic attack and like ran out of the tattoo shop. It was super embarrassing. And also because the scar tissue, I heard it's supposed to hurt worse. So I'm going to try to talk myself into doing it. Other than that, I just had my ears pierced. What's your biggest achievement so far in life? And what do you hope to achieve at some point in time? Honestly, one, YouTube and coming as far as I have with it. And also school because school's always been really, really hard for me. I've really struggled, not because I'm not smart, but just because I have really bad attention problems like I can't focus for long periods of time I've talked about this I have severe ADHD I'm going to have my associates after this semester and then transfer to Chico and that's huge for me that I even made it this far so honestly school too do you prefer snapchat more or twitter definitely twitter but instagram above all three of them have you ever deleted a post on social media because you stopped being friends with someone yes I definitely have more in relationships I'll pretty much delete all the pictures because we're done or whatever that kind of finalizes a breakup for me but with friendships, I might untag them or change the caption or something, but I'll usually keep pictures up unless I just have a lot with that person, then I'll delete some of them, you know, if they're just not as cute of pictures, like unnecessary pictures that I wasn't really that crazy about posting in the first place, but I did, if that makes sense. What's your biggest fear and why? I have a legit phobia of rats. I am terrified. It's such an irrational fear. I have nightmares about them. Whenever I go anywhere in public, I'm always like, are there gonna be rats? Like if it's dark or even if it's light, like it makes no sense. I'm scared of pretty much anything in the rodent family like mice and I know that possums aren't technically rodents they're like the same family as kangaroos marsupial marsupial Mar whatever but they still look like big rats so I'm scared of those things I don't know why I didn't used to be as much when I was younger but I am so terrified now but rats I've always been scared of what's your fave OG show I used to love suits also orange is the new black shameless gossip girl who Boy, Degrassi with Drake, that's a good one. F. Mary Kill, Keen Lolly, JC Kalen, and Logan Paul. Okay, so unpopular opinion, I think that Jake Paul is a lot cuter than Logan Paul. I don't know much about any of their personalities, but I'll probably kill JC Kalen, Mary Keen, and then F. Logan Paul. Would you ever talk about your suicide attempt in a video, or is that too personal for us? Also, love you, you're very strong. So if you guys saw my recent video about Dirty Dom, it was part two. I mentioned towards the end, that I dealt with some stuff early in high school and um, I really honestly wasn't even comfortable saying that in the video when I did but it just kind of came out and when I was editing it I left it in because I want to be open with you guys about that stuff but it was a really dark part of my life that I don't like talking about. I think the biggest part for me is that I'd have to do so much back storytelling in order to explain why I got to that place in my life but I think it's really important and I definitely will speak on it in the future. Do you have any videos you regret making? Honestly probably like all the ones in the beginning even the ones from recently like I'm just super cringy I can't watch my own videos after I post them but I don't want to delete any of them because it got me to where I'm at now so I don't regret making any of them I just look back and I'm like ew you know what I mean? Are you planning on going to Playlist DC? P.S. I love you. I love you too Truman and I was planning on going, but I'm still like eh about it. I haven't bought a ticket or anything yet just because of the fact that I'm going to be in school. And so it's going to be really hard for me to fly that far away over a weekend period and then come back and then not miss classes, fall behind and all that stuff. So I might have to make an adult decision and skip this one and then just go to Playlist Orlando and VidCon again next year just because of school. What's it like living on your own? Amazing. I literally walk around naked 24 seven. I sleep naked. Like I never wear clothes and I get to do what I want. I get to stay up as late as I want, talk on the phone as loud as I want because I don't disturb anybody else that I live with. Okay, so I've answered a freaking lot of questions. I think this is going to be it for the video. If you guys want to be in the next Q&A that I do, make sure you follow my social medias because I will let you know on either Twitter or Instagram where to leave me questions to be featured and all that cool stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you check out my other videos. I will leave playlists below or check out my channel. Subscribe if you are new. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment letting me know what you'd like to see in my next video, whether it's an advice or story time video, conspiracy theory, etc. I'm always open for requests, so be sure to do that. I will see you guys in the next video. Later, alligators. Bye.